Hey guys, Willie and Murphy here, and tonight, I'm saying tonight, okay, it's Friday evening, I've just dropped my wife off for a Christmas party, and now now locked in the garage, and I have a few hours to work on this car. I've not done anything all week because I've not been too well, um, but yeah. Uh, from last episode, um, we did, we fitted the cylinder head gasket up, we fitted the new stub bolts, the water pump, um, the rocker gaskets at the back, um, the cylinder head I did actually start stripping down. I bought a tool off the internet which is a valve spring compressor which is absolute rubbish. Um, so I've just been to buy a new compressor. I'm going to fit the valves up, fit the head to the block, tighten it all down. Hopefully tonight we'll get this car started. So um, there's not really going to be a lot of talking because I've got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it in. Um, but let's get cracking. Okay, I'm really sorry. You missed it. Um, so what I've done, because I had a bit of a camera lapse again, um, I fitted the new bypass hose on the side, and I actually fitted the head onto the block, and then fitted the push rods in. So I'm going to fit back these uh, mounts here. So I've got my nuts here, my pack of washers. So washer, 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 washer. One spare. Okay, so I have my torque wrench here, and we're going to tighten down the cylinder head. So we're going to go in an order of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to go 20, 40, and then 50 newton meters in that order. Turn it down so then it's not going too mad. So, first one. One. 
Okay, so the next job we're to do is to adjust the valve clearances. Now, they work in what's called a rule of nine. So you've got your eight valves, so number one is fully compressed. So then I'm gonna go to one and eight equals nine. Um, and then you go two and seven equals nine, three and six, and so on and so forth. So basically what you wanna do is make sure that your number adds up to the number nine. So, I want to take my feeler gauge, which is going to be a 12 thou feeler gauge. It's going to be this one here, number 12. And this piston here should be on the rock. Now, I want to make sure that there's obviously a 12 thou gap. Now, at the moment, there's a lot more than that. So, using my screwdriver, I want to adjust this screw down. Obviously, the, if you turn it clockwise, it adjusts down. If you turn it counterclockwise, it adjusts up. You can see the rocker here moving up and down. So I'm going to move this so it's nice and free. And I bit, feel a bit of resistance on both the top and the bottom. I'm also going to replace the bolt kit. Is that done? Okay, so on this particular mini here, it has been fitted with a dynamo. Now, the dynamo. Uh... Okay, so on this particular mini, it's been fitted with a dynamo. Now, a dynamo is very similar to an alternator, it's just an older style way of charging the battery. So, I've adjusted, or I've put the fan belt on, and obviously the fan is extremely loose. Now, I'm going to have to adjust it. So, you have a bolt at the top, another bolt at the other side and then you have a adjuster on a swing arm at the bottom. So the great way to do this is using this flat part here of the engine bay. Taking your half inch, your 13 mil spanner, just make sure that everything is nipped up. It's much easier to do these when they are, just need a little bit of nipping rather than to do it when it's um, a long way out like they are at the moment. So if you do it too tight you can't get any adjustment there but you want to just make sure that it's just going to go slightly tight so that when I come to put this lever bar in place I can then tighten the bolt down and the belt now is much, much tighter. Okay, and the belt is much, much tighter. A great way to tell if these are tight enough is to grab them on the side and you hopefully should do it to just twist them ever so slightly, sort of, well, to sort of halfway really. If you can turn them all the way over, it's too loose. If you can turn it and there's loads of play in it, it's too loose. If you can't turn it at all, it's too tight. Okay, so I'm going to fit the new oil filter. It's really important you take this little slight blob of oil, just run it around the seal there so it doesn't snag and twist and then sort of create any kinks. Um, and also, if you can, a little bit of oil on the thread. Then we'll screw it in. When you're putting on oil filters, it's very important you don't over tighten them. Um, 
over tight them, you can run the risk of damaging the threads on the, sort of the, the oil filter housing. Um, you're more than likely to sort of end up with leaks because you crushed the seal. A bit of fiddle to get on that. <sighs> a great way to tell is just twisting it, and when you get a bit of resistance, that's normally tight enough. And then, just going to remove the old gasket from the rocker cover. Because it's cork, it does sort of disintegrate quite well. I'm just going to run a knife around the edge here to get rid of any of the old stuff. Hmm, looks like it's had a silicon gasket on there as well. Interesting. Okay, so after a lot of cleaning later, nice and clean. We'll take the rocker cover gasket and place it over here. And what's great about this gasket in particular, or these rocker covers, is they have, I don't know if you can see that at all here, they've got some raised sections to sort of fit nicely. Over the top. Okay, so the next job tonight is to fit the exhaust gasket. Um, we obviously have some new hardware for that. And I've gone for the magic pipe, which is, as you can see, a down pipe on the standard manifold into a slightly wider bore to allow the fitment of an aftermarket exhaust. So we shall do this now.